This is the first thousand years after the end of the world, and there is a forest in the world called the Rotten Sea. It emits a poisonous miasma, and the engulfed village will perish. The human survivors try to burn the Rotten Sea, and when the time comes, countless crazy king worms will emerge from the Rotten Sea. They were the size of a mountain, their carapace was like iron, and a monstrous tsunami swept across the land and reduced the city to ruins. Once the king worm runs wildly, it will never stop until it runs out of life. Their carcasses will breed spores and grow new rotting seas. The expansion of the rotten sea and the king worm seemed unstoppable until people dug up the earth from the ground 1000 years ago, the destroyer of the world, the titan soldiers. Hello everyone, today I will take you into the world of Hayao Miyazaki's masterpiece Valley of the Wind. This time I will tell this story in two parts, 1000 years ago, mankind had a heyday called the Great Industrial Civilization. They have created a large number of humanoid weapons that can shoot devastating beams of light from their mouths, called the Titan Soldiers. Later, a war broke out in the world called the Seven Days of Fire, and the giant god soldiers destroyed the world and destroyed themselves in seven days. One thousand years later, the giant gods have all turned into fossils, the rotten sea and countless strange insects dominate the earth, and the human survivors are scattered around the world to form countless small kingdoms. Sometimes a village is a country, and the story takes place in a small country called the Valley of the Winds, which is surrounded by mountains on both sides by the sea. The sea breeze blows all year round to keep the air fresh, and the heroine Nausicaa is the princess of the Valley of the Wind, and her father is Bedredin even though he is the patriarch. She undertook all the adventures, often going to the Rotten Sea, to collect plant spores and study how humans could return to nature. On this day, she found a white giant that was the shell of the king insect, and the texture of the shell was extremely strong, and it was a good material for making tools. Nausicaa happily climbed up and blew off an eye mask with gunpowder, and the insect food tree spread the spores in the air. Like a deep winter snowfall, Nausicaa was soaking up the scenery when she heard gunshots in the distance and seemed to be in distress. She climbed to a giant god soldier and looked into the distance, and in the distance, a red-eyed king worm rose from the ground. The worm shell was its shell just now, and Nausicaa sent a signal to signal that the person in distress was running away from the king worm. She also drove a glider to pick up the two chocobos in front of the king worm pulling up the mountain and falling down the tree, and Nausicaa recognized that it was the swordsmanship teacher who had been absent from a year. The chocobo ran wildly, and the king worm was no slouch, despite its speed, so Nausicaa had no choice but to throw a flashbang to breed and then play the worm flute around it. The king worm calmed down from the rage, its eyes turned back to docile blue, and it slowly moved back into the rotten sea. The teacher didn't expect that Nausicaa's ability had improved so much after not seeing her for a year, and the two of them returned to the valley of the wind one after the other, still peaceful. The teacher was not happy, because he was the only musician here, and there was famine everywhere he went. Having witnessed two countries being swallowed up by the Sea of Decay, Nausicaa did not understand what Master was looking for all year round. In fact, he is looking for a way to make the ancient legend come true, and the legend will have a destined person. Floating in a blue robe on the golden grasslands, he reconnects with the earth and leads the survivors to a clean world. This was a foreshadowing for the second half of the story, and at night Nausicaa was preoccupied with an unusually strong wind blowing outside. Judging from the bright light, it looks like a giant transport ship has flown in, and all the ships in this world refer to flying machines. Nausicaa noticed that the transport ship was flying in a strange direction, as if it was about to crash at any moment. She got on a glider and tried to guide the plane to land correctly, but when she got closer, she found that the nose was covered with bugs. It is estimated that the crew is going to the rotten sea to provoke insects again, and seeing that the transport ship is about to hit the mountain, she warns the pilot to transfer the cabin quickly. Unfortunately, it was too late for the transport ship to crash headlong into the cliff and burn into a sea of fire, and Nausicaa went deep into the ground to rescue a breathing girl. She unbuttoned the other party's clothes and closed it with a trembling heart when she saw it clearly, 
this should have been the first aid. After undressing, she found that she was mortally wounded and had no choice but to give up, and the girl was a princess of another small country, but with an apparent captive. Here are two new countries to be introduced, and there are two more countries in this film in addition to the Valley of the Wind. One is the murderous martial kingdom of the far west, the kingdom of Doromicia. The other is a small country, Paget is similar to the Valley of the Wind, and the Shangwu Kingdom has recently been invading small countries. I call them the invading and the counter-attacking, and this giant transport ship belongs to the invading country. And the girl is the captured princess of the Strike Nation, who tells Yusuka to burn the ship's cargo anyway. Nothing could survive under the raging fire, and Nausicaa asked her to rest assured, and she finally closed her eyes in peace. Nausicaa tearfully severed the girl's shackles, hoping to set her free even after she was dead. Other villagers were searching for the injured when someone suddenly shouted that it was a gadfly, which crashed with a transport ship and was injured with red eyes, calling for companions. Someone tried to shoot, but the rifle could not kill the dead ox and only provoke anger. Nausicaa calmly stepped forward and used the insect flute to draw the gadfly's attention, and the gadfly followed her to soar into the sky and return to the rotten sea. Another bloodshed averted in the Valley of the Wind, and the next morning, the villagers were still searching the giant transport. Its cabin was stained with poisonous spores, and when it crashed, it also brought some to the ground, and the villagers had to burn it in time. As the crowd worked, they found a giant sarcoma, which for some reason failed to burn down through the night. Its veins still beat regularly, as if it were alive, and the teacher had heard rumors during his travels. It is known that most of the ancient monster giant soldiers died into fossils after the destruction of the world, but there are also a small number of people who have been sleeping underground for thousands of years, and the counterattack country dug one up a while ago and the invading country snatched it. This lump of sarcoma is the embryo of the rumored giant god soldier, and as soon as the words fell, the valley suddenly swooped into countless giant warships. The soldiers of the invading country rushed out, completely ignoring the lives of the villagers, and Nausicaa's father, as the patriarch, drew his sword to defend the dignity of the Valley of the Wind. As a result, she was killed, and Nausicaa was furious and single-handedly killed all the lightly armored soldiers in the house. She still wanted to kill the other infantry in heavy armor, but the master stood in the middle, and he knew that the disparity in strength between the two sides would only lead to the destruction of Jade. It was only time to talk about it, and the master used his hand to block the sword and the blood flowed, and Nausicaa realized how much damage her anger had caused. She is willing to negotiate when she wakes up from a dream, and this white-robed and gold-armored person is the fourth princess of the invading country, Kushana. The armor on her arm was actually a prosthetic, and that arm was lost to the rotting sea bugs. Because of this, she hated the rotten sea, and today she led her troops to invade to lead the small countries to burn the rotten sea and regenerate the earth. Can you really do it by burning the rotten sea? The people talked and ordered, and the four princesses claimed to have won the battle. Because she has mastered a new way to restart the old world's titan technology, there is a blind old woman in the valley of the wind. Too many blind eyes against her have been witnessed, and too many people have tried to burn the rotten sea in the last 1000 years. Every time the rotten sea drilled out, countless crazy king insects surged forward like mountain peaks, smoothing everything in the road. After the death of the king worm itself, the corpse gave birth to a new rotten sea, and the scale was larger than before, so it must not be infested with the rotten sea. The villagers protested, and the thought of Nausicaa's father being killed made even more angry, but Nausicaa had calmed down. She didn't want anyone to call on everyone to cooperate with the work first, since the princess had said that the villagers had to do it. They used manpower and tanks to pull away the Titan embryo, which was too heavy to transport. The previous transport ship crashed because it couldn't bear it, so the fourth princess set up an experimental base on the spot to prepare for it to be born here. It took a long time to finish, and she had to send five hostages to the village before she had to go out of the village. Nausicaa was one of them, and the other four were village elders, and the teacher found Nausicaa sad in the plant room late at night. 
In the past, she would collect plant spores on every expedition, and that's how the house was full of vegetation. Rarely, these plants don't emit miasma, as the water that feeds them is as clean as the drinking water in the Valley of the Wind. They are pumped up 500 meters underground, and the sand used to grow the plants also comes from the ground. It seems that it is not the plants that are poisonous, but the surface water and soil, and the plants emit their own gas because they grow on the poisonous water. Originally, Nausicaa did this kind of experiment to save her father, but now that her father is gone, there is no point here. She felt so helpless that the teacher could only hug her tightly. Early the next morning, Nausicaa and four old men sailed with the fleet as hostages. She herself sat in the flagship with the fourth princess, and most of the old people sat in the small spaceship and were dragged around. The elders noticed that the invading country's transport formations were particularly dense, as if they were preparing for an attack. Sure enough, in the sun, it swooped down on a gunboat that counterattacked the country, and although it was small, it had good firepower. One ship was destroyed on the spot, and another was destroyed by other ships in response to the battle, and even the old people couldn't help but complain that these big ships were too fragile. Before the words were spoken, another ship was destroyed, and the old man's small ship crashed to the ground, and even the flagship on which Nausicaa was sitting was injured and caught fire. She climbed on the nose of the plane and appealed to the pilots of the counterattacking country to stop killing people, but the other party was shocked and was hit by the warplanes of the invading country. Also crashed to the ground, the flagship fire is getting stronger and stronger, and it is only a matter of time before it crashes. Nausicaa jumped on the small spaceship and fled with the four princesses, and they ejected out of the pod before the flagship exploded to save the old people's small spaceship. The old people were carrying heavy supplies and were constantly sinking, and people were panicked, thinking that they would definitely die. Nausicaa took off her mask to make them see herself, and approached with her feet, instructing the old men to throw away their cargo and smiling at them. Since the princess can still laugh, we must be fine, so the old people calmly landed safely under her guidance. Nausicaa wasn't immune to miasma, choking on her breath even though she hurriedly put her mask back on. There is a lot of information in this scene, and Nausicaa's skill, courage and sexuality are all at once. Everyone finally saved the day, but who would have thought? The first thing the fourth princess did after being saved was to take the others prisoner with a gun, and Nausicaa advised her to calm down, this is the rotten sea. In the air battle just now, many ships crashed and already angered the swarm, and if they were shot, they would become the target of siege. After saying that, he ordered the old man to leave, and the fourth princess ignored the advice and fired a warning shot. This time, the water waves are surging, and several king insects have surfaced, but fortunately, their eyes are not red. Nausicaa approached to apologize and spread her arms, allowing them to investigate their spirit world and show no malice. The king insects stretched out their golden tentacles and really didn't feel the danger, but these king insects had just entered the water, and their eyes turned angry red again. The other bugs were swarming in the same direction, and Nausicaa understood. It must have been the pilot of the counterattack country who fell just now and angered the swarm, so she asked the old people and the fourth princess to go home first to save the pilot herself. At this time, the pilot was being chased by countless bugs, and although he killed many of them, he was also forced to the cliff with no way to retreat. She jumped down, and Nausicaa flew in to catch it, but this time her bug flute couldn't suit the bugs. Because the pilot killed too many insects, they were red-eyed, and a flying giant insect was entangled, and the two failed to dodge and fell into a quicksand. Unexpectedly, when I earned my eyes again, I had already come to an incredible new world, where the air was fresh and full of non-toxic tree crystals, some of which had turned into fine sand. As clean and harmless as the one Nausicaa used to grow plants, after a day of investigation, Nausicaa finally understood everything. It turns out that the root of evil is human beings, and we first polluted the global surface. The rotten sea is born for purification, and the trees in the rotten sea absorb the earth's toxins throughout their lives. 
When he dies, he first turns into clean crystal, and then, from crystal, to fine sand, which is harmless and can be cultivated. In addition, the bugs that burn the rotten sea are actually not bad. They just want to protect the rotten ocean from destruction, as if the whole world is right and only humans are wrong. But do people really have to live in the cracks? Nausicaa rested in peace, tomorrow is a long way to go, and this is the end of the first half of our story. Advance notice that in the next phase, the countering state will manipulate the swarm forces in an attempt to eliminate the invading state. The invading nation will summon a titan. Who wins and who loses, will it bring new destruction to the land? Let's take a look at it in the next issue, okay, that's all for today's program, welcome to pay attention and see you in the next issue.